Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial about the SQL programming. Okay, these uh, three topics we already covered in the previous video. Okay, this all this is also done. Now, uh, now uh, let's come on the uh, next one. That is how to rename columns name. Okay, now let's come. Open your SQL server. Okay, this is uh, we already covered in the previous topic. That's why please follow the playlist. Okay, and uh, visit sequence wise. Now uh, let's start. Uh, delete this one. Okay. Mm, uh, let's. Uh, okay. Now what do you do? Let's enter a programming. Select S E L E C T. Select. Um, right now we are using data one. Okay. Now what do you do? From enter from and enter your table name that is data one. Okay. Like this. Yes. Right now what do you do? first uh, let's run and click to start this is the old row and columns first we know well, let's check it uh, means uh, how many columns in this table now click to execute and you see as number name data date data and marks they have a uh, four columns here but right now we are using name data date data and marks okay how we can do this now we need to change this column name name data date data marks okay let's come you need to enter your column name right now i am entering name data name data okay right click and first click to this one okay name data yes name data click to this one name data yes now you need to enter parameter that is as okay and enter any name as per your comment okay right now i am entering employee sorry like this okay now click to comma you need to enter date data date data yes date data as now you need to enter name as for comment i am enter here now enter old uh, sorry sorry old date like this okay all date yes right now done now click to comma or if you need to change this marks also you can do this right now i am a comma and i am also change the marks rename m a r k s marks as and right now i am enter here employee data employee data okay like this okay uh, or otherwise i am enter here employee record yes done, now done now click to execute and you see the rename uh, the name is changed first is employee all date the employee record okay all done you see okay you can change as per requirement okay and the second one if you need to like if you need to give a space in this between now how you can do this okay let's start like you see you need to give a, a space in this between how you can do first delete this one okay now let's you do this like this okay same here remove this one and let's do this yes now let's click to execute and you see old space date employee space record okay now uh, this task also completed that is how to rename column name Okay guys, in the next video we can learn something new. Okay, and please, if you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much guys.